What happens when you put an egg in a rock tumbler? I guess today we're going to find out. To make this a little bit more scientific, I'm actually going to tumble four different raw eggs at the same time under different conditions. There's really no way for me to prove to you that they're raw, but I promise I would not lie to you, so you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. The first egg is raw dog in it with no water, no rock tumbling grit, no nothing. Barrel, egg, that's it. The second egg is probably the luckiest because it's going into the barrel with water, but no grit. The third egg is getting the true rock tumbling experience with both water and grit, the same way I would tumble rocks. And the fourth egg, well, that one's a little special. I read that you can dissolve the shell of a raw egg to make a quote unquote naked egg by leaving it in vinegar. So you guessed it, the fourth egg is going to tumble in straight undiluted vinegar. This might eat away at the rubber of the barrel a little because per my research, vinegar and rubber don't get along too well, but I'm willing to make the sacrifice for science. Here's my hypothesis. I'm almost positive egg one is going to break. Egg two might be spared because it'll have the water to cushion it. I'm not too sure about egg three, but it would be super cool if it stayed intact and the grit wore down the shell. And for egg four, I'm hoping the vinegar does what it's supposed to and dissolves the shell completely, leaving only a squishy egg membrane yolk sac thing behind, but somehow that seems unlikely. I'm gonna let them all tumble for around 18-ish hours and then I'll check to see how they did. Right off the bat, I am scared because it smells strongly of vinegar in here. Everything seems to be running correctly. Nothing has exploded. That is great. I just realized I spoke too soon. This is all vinegar. Okay, time to check on egg number one. It does kind of feel broken in there, but we will see. Time for the moment of truth. <gasps> it broke into more tiny little eggs. That's crazy. Who would have thought that that's what would have happened? April Fools. Gotcha. <laughs> I pranked you so hard. Now I bet you feel real silly since you fell for my incredibly convincing and hilarious prank. But now that I've got that out of my system, it's time to put our lab coats back on and see the real results of our little experiment here. I opened up egg one and drum roll please. It's an egg. I really thought it was going to break, so that's kind of disappointing. It didn't even have any cracks in it. Egg two was equally underwhelming. It looked mostly the same as egg one, but with a few more scuffs in it, which is surprising considering it had the water to act as a buffer. Egg three on the other hand was actually pretty good. This was the one with water and grit and it was surprisingly smooth compared to the other two. The shell felt a tad thinner, but there weren't any cracks on this one either. Egg number four though, just wait until you see it. I was actually kind of scared to open this because I was like, wait, what if I accidentally made a bomb? It did leak quite a bit and the lid was stuck on. Pro tip, if you're having trouble getting off the lid, wedge the washer in the crack like this to break the seal. I did that and finally managed to get the lid open and there was something really weird in there. <gasps> oh my God, it worked. Ew, look at this thing. Oh, that's exactly what was supposed to happen. Ugh. Okay, let me rinse it off. Look at that beautiful, perfect, jiggly egg sack. It's a naked egg. An egg without a shell. Never have my eyes seen such a perfect thing. It was wonderfully smooth and had a nice rubbery texture. Never in a million years did I think that vinegar thing would actually work in a rock tumbler, but you better believe it did. I wanted to get a better look at the eggs, so I put a flashlight behind them to see if there was any real noticeable difference between them. This first one is a raw, untumbled egg. This one is egg number one, egg number two, egg number three, and this is our fun, squishy one. I love how you can see the yolk bouncing around in there. But I know what you're all thinking right now because believe me, I thought the exact same thing. Pop it. I really wanted to know how hard I'd have to squeeze to pop it. And unfortunately, that thought won. Oh, oh, oh God, ew, ah. Oh. I, I thought it would be harder than that. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. 
Ew. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's all over me. Love that. Love that for me. And you know what? It smells a lot like vinegar. Well, I guess that's what happens when you tumble an egg. Another mystery solved. What should I tumble next? Mm -hmm.